60 years ago, you came to an unknown land to preserve freedom and peace. We still remember your gallantry and sacrifice. The unexpected war put everything into chaos and we had to put our lives on the line to protect the future of our nation. Then, you gave a warm helping hand to times hardship and despair. It's still vivid in my memory that you came to help us in the name of friendship. When our country's peace was at stake, you knew running a danger that might separate you from loved ones for good. In a country you never heard of. Despite challenging weather and fear of war, you devoted yourself to defend our freedom and the Republic of Korea. Do you remember the time we stood together? Even though we didn't speak the Sioux language, we were all of one mind. We fought days and nights in severe cold during injuries. We shed tears for the death of our innocent fellow soldiers. Your valor and sacrifice served as a foundation for us to regain hope. In the forest curry, it was expected to take more than 100 years to rise from the ashes of war. We heard it free effort to recur from the war. With the sun shed, he began to make a history of a miracle in the ruins of war. Sixty years after the war, today, who emerged as the tenth largest economic power in the world, became the chair of the G20, as well as a proud member of the United Nations. Now, who is leaping towards a better future? Who became the third country that transformed itself from an a recipient to a donor and is reaching out to the need across the globe. We will always remember your noble sacrifice. and warm heart that offered help in the name of friendship. My dearest friend, you will always be our hero.